I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens and bring back the native plants. Community church gardens. I have faith in seeds. Very good things will come from this. Delta Green is the technical partner. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009. And thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, at the heart of this work is a group of students from Northern Michigan University. My name is Tom Merkel. My name is Caitlin Bingner. I'm Adam Magnuson. But we will be working with tribes, especially Keweenaw Bay, and I want to honor them. Expect great wonders. Uh, I'm Adam Magnuson, and I'd like to introduce uh, Doug Russell. He's with uh, Delta Green, and he'll be talking about energy efficiency with the grant. Delta Green is the technical partner uh, for this grant project, and our function within the grant will be to perform energy audits uh, for 40 churches across the Upper Peninsula. This audit will serve as a blueprint for churches to look at ways for them to uh, increase their energy efficiency, and in that way, save them money, uh, and of course one of the unfortunate byproducts of energy production is pollution. By being able to increase their efficiencies, the churches will be contributing to less energy production and less pollution. So we look forward to being able to work with the churches to identify those opportunities and help them uh, understand all the different resources that are available uh, to make those projects happen. Thank you. I know that very good things will come from this. That is community church gardens, whether it be a vegetable garden, a healing garden, a meditation garden, herb garden. My native plant garden in Milwaukee is about 20 feet by 15 feet, and it is just a delight for me to see my workers in there. In the morning and coming back in the evening, the male bombus or bumblebees roost my garden serves as a repository for those native bees and other pollinators for my whole urban community. These small native gardens serve as the pollinator source for the vegetable garden, not just in that churchyard, but in the neighborhood. And that is really a delightful thing. Those church lots and other uh, facilities related to that really do matter, and what we are doing really does matter.